Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and in the last episode we have organized many many things and we were on the verge of making walls which I think we should just do. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need we're gonna have much use for stone bricks until much later on when we build refineries and things so we're just gonna set up a quick array for making walls right here. Okay so let's see we can put the first assembly machine here and one, two, three. Three is always a really good number when you're counting for different structures like this uh, because it allows you to put boxes in the middle, which is kind of nice. So we're going to make walls. There we go. Copy, paste. Uh, again, shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. And we're going to get ourselves fast inserters here and then slow inserters to just shove them into a box. And here's the box and let's get a power pole here to power the whole thing up. Now you'll notice that these things need five stone bricks per wall. And I think I'm going to add another inserter because it's just not quite fast enough. So let's get a power pole on either side there. Excellent. Aha. And we need a light as well. Light. Yay. All right. Uh, make some more lights right now. Oh boy, we need more green circuits. Aha, yes, we do. Definitely do. All right, light is good. Gonna shove those. There we go. Wow, 1100. Well then, you know what? I think we're going to limit this chest to like five stacks. How about that? That's fine. All right, wow, we have the whole world before us. We are making stuff and things. So this is our... This is actually a mini base. This really isn't a big base at all. And it looks like, ooh, our radar has found stuff. Look at this. We have more nests out here. So we don't have anything to be scared of immediately. Though we do see a biter nest here and we see that one over there. So those are the first places we're going to have to be worried about attacks coming from. Though I kind of want to take them out before we can actually get an attack. Ooh, there's some oil up here. That's quite tasty. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Let's try this and get stuff going. Uh, with our new walls, we can make defensible areas with this sort of cliff caldera structure thing. This is such a cool map. I love it. Um, yeah, and so we'll get that going. But first, we want to make a belt array, I think. And there's a very traditional sort of way of doing this, which I think we're going to do. I don't know if we have enough space here. We need a nine or not a nine patch grid or a three by three grid of um, assemblers to do this. Might have to. Oh, my God. Might have to build on the other side of the bus. Oh, no. KOS. What are you thinking? Yes. Yes, it could be true. Um, yeah, let's try it here. And then we need to have three in between. I'm just shift clicking because these are three wide, so I know exactly how big they need to be. But we also need gears, which I'm not sure if I should bust gears or just make them. Kind of just want to make them here for the mall. So we had usually, usually have a ton of gears made in the mall. I think I'm going to have to get. Uh, move these off a bit because they're too close to the bus here. I didn't intend to make quite that many, but what we can do is we can actually just copy uh, the whole thing. Copy these and then these go there and whoa! Ha! They don't fit if we do that. We, they don't actually fit. So we could because mm, these are these the three, the nine that we need for the different uh, types of belts and then these are all gears well I mean we could be sneaky I guess yeah I don't think we, I don't actually think we need this many gears let's just take that off for now we may come to regret this decision but not right now uh, right, let's get ourselves our, our thingy. Oh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. We can have one belt going this way. Um, 
and then one belt going the other way. Actually, we can just do it this way, can't we? No! No, we don't want it this way. We actually want it the other way. Just to make sure that... Oh, oh goodness. Come on. There we go. I usually do a half and a half belt, but I think I saw somebody do it this way. I can't remember if it was Aiden or somebody else. Um, but just to make sure that we get gears on all the areas. Okay, and we have enough. That's one. Good, good. I know that looks really strange, but it's so that this area makes sure to get some iron because it might run out by the time we get to this end point there. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but we're going to try it and see if we like this flow. It should have enough throughput. So yeah, should be great. So let's just get this, this, and that. Notice I am taking from the straight part of the belt and not the curve because the curve is a little bit more tricky for the inserters to grab from. Okay. Okay, now then, these are going to be our belts. And then this is uh, undergroundies. This is splittery dues. Yay. And then these are going to be the red versions of the same. And these are the blue. So what we need to do first, though, is we need, we have our boxes. Good, good. And we'll put boxes here. Or is it here? It's there, actually. There's a reason for this to be there. And then we have boxes there. Yes. Right. Uh, you can put them in the middle, but I like to have... Um, there. I don't know. I, I started doing it from the side so I could... I think it to put the power poles in the middle so that they would cover all of the inserters and stuff. Okay, so... Okay, very good. That works. And now we just need to put in the undergroundies. This is why we have the boxes there. So I guess you could move that up and move them forward. Um, it doesn't really matter. But we need to place these guys that way. These guys this way. And this goes from there and there. And do these... I don't think these actually need gears. No. So we leave the gear thingy off from those. Okay. And here we go. So these probably just need this out since they have one blue in. They only need a yellow out, I believe. Okay, so let's start making stuff here. Let's connect this with the power poles. There we go. And apparently these are not connected yet, but they will be. There we go. And there. Do we have... We don't have enough power yet. Okay. All right, and lights. Yay, lights are good. We'll put this maybe there. Okay, and we'll put these pulls there so that we have no blinking, at least. <laughs> okay, now then, these, we also need to provide an exit for materials here and limit our stack size. These are going to be limited to, say, two rows. This one is limited to two stacks, as well as the other one. Now, this one needs some special materials. Uh, we need green circuits flowing along here. So let's see. Uh, we're going to need, I think we can leave, let's say, two there. And I don't know why I've done this. This is quite silly, actually, that I have um, left a gap of two spaces, but we're gonna we're gonna fix this very shortly, like right now. This is quite silly. Okay, tab, here we go. I don't know why I did that. That's very odd. Uh, normally, when you build a bus, you go and have four rows of belts. Oops, I need belts. Help, belts. Hey, thank you. I need. Good, good. See, it's already making stuff for me. Oh, the happiness is real. Oh, yes. 
Um, yeah, so we do four in a group. And the reason you do four is because undergroundies, the first set, reaches four tiles. So you can have these going that way. And then the next one, you usually leave a two gap. I mean, you don't have to. You can do it any way you want. Because um, later, the undergroundies stretch a longer distance. But... Um, yeah, when you first start building your bus, it's much easier just to do it this way with uh, four and then a two gap to let things kind of flow. Okay, so let's see. I have already plenty of those. Let's give this cable back. There we go. So this one is going to utilize those. And I think we're just going to put it here. So let's just grab that and take this this way. Boom. Nice. We now have green circuits. And we need to repair what I just messed up here. So this needs to be like this. This way. And then we need to have this and that. And excuse me. There we go. Thank you very much. And the same here. One above. And then like this. That's how you would start off this thing. And then take this this way. And click. Boom. Boom. Very nice. So I'm leaving this as a second line for copper. Okay. And then this one needs to connect over here. All right. There we go. And it goes under the entire uh, width of this thing here. Yay. All right. Life is now better. So are we making walls? I think we're making walls. How many walls do we have yet around? Well, not yet. How many do we have by now? That is the proper way of calling it, I think. Oh, wow. We actually need some faster inserters here. Wow, we have a ton. Okay, so let's make two rows of walls. I'm going to take a few of them with me. And we also need to start making uh, turrets uh, en masse. Because that's kind of important. Just slightly. Um, that is one of the very, very critical things we need to do. All right, so if we grab this, looks like all we need is, let's see, plate and gears. So we can actually delete this entire thing and it will come to our inventory once we walk by. Uh, I'll just put in the whole thing over here. And um, yeah, I think, oh no, this is wrong. Oh geez, okay, it's fine. What, what I wanted to do here is instead of having a full belt of greens i wanted half green half red because um i think it's blue or maybe red that requires red circuits to make the splittery dues for that tier i think it's i think it's blue i don't think it's red um so anyway we're going to clear off this half of the belt but as you see once you put a belt going this direction it makes the belt in the center go straight and therefore um, kind of blocks off the, the, the greens from going on the other side. So that's a very uh, nice way that you can do that kind of stuff. Looks like I'm out of belts again. Hello, belt maker. I've come for you. Oh, and these need to be limited. Oy. Because uh, otherwise there's going to be too many. And so these lines actually go down this way. All these gears go that way. Boom. Uh, and then, of course, the rest of the belts are going to collect in here. But these, they only need like 50 belts each because these don't need that many. Um, oh, we need to add in our, our thingies here so we can start making our very first splitters. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to make uh, a couple of things. One, two, wait, one, two. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, we need to do this because now we don't have to have boxes in between. We can have uh, other things happening here. What I want to do is have gears in the middle and then the plates on either side. So this is going to make turrets, lots of turrets for us. Well, hopefully some amount of turrets for us. <laughs> uh, we're going to do this, this, and that. How many gears do they need? They need 10 gears. So in eight seconds, the thing can make um, 16 gears. So that's not quite enough for two. 
Ah, it's fine though, it's fine. It'll be fine. I think it'll be okay. I don't know if these um these are gonna be faster. I can't remember if the speed on these things does it say? I don't think it says. No, it doesn't say how fast the speed is, does it? I need to look this up. It's probably on the cheat sheets that it says how fast an inserter is. I don't know if it's three times as fast or twice as fast. I do know that the red inserter is slightly faster than the um, than the yellow one. Okay, so this is going to go like this. No. No, no. Not quite. This needs to go this way. Nope. Okay, brain. Brain, you gotta work better than that. Gotta work better than that. There you go. That's better. Yay. Oh no, my undergroundies. My undergroundies are no more. There we go. Oh, and splittery doos. Let's get those. Yay. Take these this way. This one is gonna go that way and this one is also going to go that way okay nice and this is going to also come down this way oh perfect looking good folks this is looking really good so these are just really working hard with <laughs> the massive amounts of iron needed let's see if it can f can it fill it up to get enough stuff though we might need to get um, worker robot, not worker robot speed, um, stack size increase in the tech. Okay, yeah, there's plenty of time. It's fine. It's fine. One inserter is enough. And now I have completely forgotten to put these in a box. Um, I'm going to have them put in a box here on this side, I think. There we go. Um, okay, so we'll have them put in a box there. Oh, look at that. Little tiny turrets on the belt. It's great. Check it out. All right, we want to have maybe four stacks. That should be enough, I think. All right, and that way we have a place to come and collect them. And speaking of turrets, we should probably put one down here so that this area is relatively safe from biterness. Okay, excellent. Let's also add a couple more of these um, shooty shooties. Yay. Yes, that, that's the technical term. Shooty shooty. Mm -hmm. That's two O's, <laughs> one T. Yes. Let's grab them. Wow, this is so much faster than handcrafting or anything like that. So nice. Okay. And so we made our turrets. This is a good, good step. Oops, one more. All right, so we made our walls. Let's go and click this. We did the belt array, excellent. We did not make ammo yet. So that is something that I would like to do. Have we researched the ammo? I don't think we have, have we? No, we need green science for this. So we need to make a science array. It looks like we can just fit a couple of small things in here, um, but not much else. I think we're going to have to start building on this side of the bus. Uh, normally, I don't really like to build on two sides of the bus because the bus can always expand. It's just a feature. It happens. It's a thing. Uh, but we might have to actually do that. I should handcraft some assemblers and then I should make an assembler assembly machine. Yes, to assemble all the assemblers. Uh, we do need some more, definitely need some more science. So this is something that we're going to work on right now, I think. Is the science. Okay, we have these. We can actually pick these up probably and just kind of like take a take away everything that we are finishing up with. Ah, gears. Gears is something that I tend to not pick up afterward. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Can pick up ammo. 
Wow, there's not much ammo in there. I think we need to make an ammo thing, but I want to make it... Whoa, whoa, we have we have stuff. Hello, stuff. Greetings. Maybe we need um, a power pull maker as well. This is wood and copper cable. Uh, that's a nice thing to put in a small area. Let's see. To make fancy ammo, I think we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need firearm magazines, the yellow ammo, plus steel plate, plus copper. And I think it's usually one machine of yellow ammo to three of the red. So we could do that two sides of the belt, maybe. That could be a thing. Let's see, if we do this like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. If we had our stuff coming in this way oh we would need two belts though but it would work i think if we did this and then the other ammo could go this way and then the red ammo could be stored here somehow like this yeah i think that would work ish I'm just trying to like figure out how to space this out a little bit. Do we want a gear machine? I don't know. I could always just pick up gears from the belt here like this. All the ones that are not used by the belt array. They're very sad, sad gears. Oh, I was going to make the, uh, the power poles. Let's do that. Power poles are good. And that means I can put in lots of wood and um, not have to worry about it for ages and ages and ages. There we go. All wood. Bye bye. And this will go into a, let's see, how do we want to work this? It takes wood and copper cables, so that can go there. Those go into a box, and that frees up our inventory significantly. And we need a belt here for copper. Let's get cables made. There we go. All right, life is better, clearly. I keep missing my, my power poles. Let's put them here instead. <laughs> I'm like, where are they? No. We need to probably check on power. Um, it's been a while since we have done so. Kind of like, hmm, do we have enough? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's also put down some lights here. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so this is going to be copper coming down. What we need to do here is make a, a blueprint here or a copy, I guess is fine. We don't really need a full blueprint for this, but just have this coming down here. And I'm just holding mouse click, but you see there are gaps forming. What I need to do to make sure that these trees get destroyed is shift click. Uh, and that puts the um, the thing down and will remove vegetation, um, but it doesn't remove other buildings. So if they're, if you're trying to like overwrite a factory or something or assemblers, that doesn't work. It only overrides vegetation. So that's something to keep aware of or be aware of, I should say. Let's get this going. Oh, no, 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 not there. There you go. Boom. Excellent. Come on, nanobots. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, and <laughs> science has completely stopped. Um, yeah, but what we can do is we can start making the yellow ammo because, yeah, it's going to be useful. So let's get this one here and we'll put the iron this way. Okay. Uh, right there we go power pole yay and then this will go out this side and then these of course we'll just pick up from there but for now uh, we can collect it in a box I think I'll just be very lazy and just bring over the whole thing and shove it into a box 
Yay. Boom. I don't know if I need a blue inserter for that. I might. I definitely might. Okay. This is middle. There we go. Okay, it's fine. All right, well, that's our temporary solution for this until we get the better ammo. So looks like two quests require your attention. Oh, no. All right, so we made the ammo. We need to make the boutiques, uh, but we also definitely need to make science. Let's look at our map real quick. Keep. Let's do boutiques first. And boutiques are basically what is like what I would call as part of a mall. Um, but they're, instead of being part of a giant mall, we're going to make things like inserters and assemblers and things like that. Uh, oh, we don't actually have to build on that side, but we could. Um, but the mall is a very complicated structure and it's very difficult to design from scratch. So that's why I don't like to generally build a mall if I'm trying not to use blueprints. Aha, we need more we need more steam engines. So let's go ahead and make more steam engines. We need to have, yeah, let's make 20, 5, 10, 15, and 20. And that means 10 boilers. So that's five. I'm missing the iron for this. So let's just pilfer some from the belts here. So that's 10 of those. Ah, and we do need a pipe factory. I kind of forgot about that. We should build a pipe factory. We could even do that here, I think. Because pipes don't need much. They just need iron, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And then pipes to ground, of course, need slightly more than that. So we can build... Do this. We can do it after, actually. We can do this right here. Oh, that's so sneaky. Okay, we'll have our regular pipes here and then pipes to ground right there. And I would like to have a control circuit on this, but it will be fine. Okay, let's add our power pole here. Boom, boom, and we need box, box. No, 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 I thought about it, yay. Okay, so we're gonna have two stacks of regular pipes being in there. And then pipes to ground. I think I want to have two stacks. That'll be fine. Actually, let's make this four stacks. And all right, this is going to get going. This is great. This is great. Okay, so let's turn that off for a minute so I can properly collect these things. Wow, they take a half a second, but that doesn't look like a half a second. Ah, you know why? Because this machine runs at half speed, so it takes a full second to actually make these things. That's good, though. Okay, so we're, we're getting a few pipes uh, which we're going to need to connect up the different uh, buildings there. We also need to make another... No, we need, don't need to make another pump, I don't think. Not yet. Not yet. Take this one. And let's go expand. Oh, wait. What, how are we doing on pollution, by the way? Is it fine? It's fine. Nobody's going to attack us yet. It's really fine. Uh, we do have turrets. We do have some ammo. Actually, let's pick up some more ammo. I mean, while we're going there, we might as well. Okay, and lamp. Go down here. Yay. And ammo. Hello. Yay, 165. This is great, though. Having automation is fantastic because no longer are we running from mine to mine and putting stuff into boxes and stuff. Now we can have the factory working while we are exploring these very dense forests and never having to chop another tree in our lives because we have nanobots, yay! Oh, the yay is real. Wait, what happened to the, oh, did it? Oh, actually, ah, I accidentally deleted the power pole. I think I um, I hit it with the deconstruction planner, so that's not ideal. Let's get the fish. Very good. So I'm just gonna copy this array and um, so this is this. Very good. We'll just glue it down here. Yay. I hope I made everything. 
Okay, so that is, I believe, 10, right? Let's just check this. No, it's 9. Why is it 9? Ah, because I started differently than I usually do. That's why. Okay, it will be fine. Now we just need one more. Oh, oh, trees. Ow, ow. So much thickness. Can't pass. No. So we made... We need five more of these and probably ten of these. I don't know. Maybe. But we definitely need more of these. We need 15 inserters. 5, 10, 15. There we go. I think everything else is flowing okay. So we have two, two, two. Yep, 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 yep. Um, but we did need... Let's just copy this again. Copy this side. No, it's the other side. It's this side. Along with power poles. Oh, darn it. I copied the double power pole. That's quite silly of me, isn't it? I... Ah, it's fine, I guess. We'll, 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 we can take it off. It's not... It's good to have some redundancy, though. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave some of it. Okay. We did get our little um, burner inserters made. Yay. So let's put those down. There we go. Very nice. And then these will go here. Uh, right. So... Could be very I, I think i'm gonna be sneaky with stuff i do like being sneaky i don't know if you noticed that but i i really like to sneak it's good stuff it's very it's very stealthy and i'm i get very excited about like being uh nifty and sneaky it's very cool all right let's take this this way and we're gonna sneak this this way yep there we go and that makes it quite easy Boom. And I think that should be enough miners to supply this entire array. I believe this is enough. Let's see. This is 36. No, we need two more boilers to make it the full, um, full column, which means that it uses up the entire pipe of water. There we go. Oh, how perfect. It is perfect. Look, oh, 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 they're grabbing. Hello, hello, we need stuff. It's so funny the way the arms like search. Like, okay, I'm getting ready. Getting ready to grab it. It's fine. Oh, wow, we need pipes. Hello. I apparently ran out of pipes. That's really weird. I thought we'd have enough. Anyway, so yeah, a full column is this. Actually, let me grab it from the other side. This here. It is 40 steam engines, 20 boilers, and one um, offshore pump. So that, that's one full steam column. And we have everything good. And we didn't have to chop any more trees. Yay. Yay is real. Okay. Nanobot range has... Wait, how did that get finished? I thought science wasn't functioning. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know anymore. Things are happening. I'm not even aware of them, apparently. Oh, dear. All right. Anyway, I think this is probably a good place to stop for today. Uh, we have made so much progress. We have lots and lots of things that are automated. Uh, anyway, so we have things to do. Obviously, the biters, we're, it's getting close to this one as well. Um, so we have to choose what we're going to do. We probably want to defend this area a bit. We might just uh, connect these cliffs with walls, though. That could be a better better idea. But you see there's just more pollution. It's like, aha, it's starting to heat up. And the, the landscape can only absorb so much pollution until it gets to the biters. So anyway, going to have to try to push for lasers soon. Um, but that's quite a ways away. We still need to do a fair number of things, including getting all the science sorted. So that's our task for the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.